It's the tequila talking. No, really, it is. Okay, maybe you've heard that excuse before. But this is a podcast brought to you by sus amigos at Tequila Corrido. So grab your glass and enjoy the happy hour deal of the day because it's free, friends. Now, your host, Olivia Fierro. Hey, everybody, grab your favorite beverage, hopefully at the Tequila Corrido, because it's the Tequila Talking, and we are really excited to be recording this episode on location at the absolutely gorgeous Legacy Club at the top of Circa in downtown Las Vegas. We've got none other than CEO, owner, um, multi, multi, multi hyphenate, many, many, many properties. Uh, we're going to go through the whole list. Derek Stevens, you are the man here in Las Vegas, and we were really excited to be able to sit down and talk to you because you have made such a tremendous impact on this city, and you seem to be living that kind of life that everybody dreams about, making all your dreams come true and having fun while you're doing it. Yeah, well, Olivia, great to see you. Uh, you know what I, I love? I love about Vegas. I came came to Vegas in 2006, and on any given night in Las Vegas, there's something great going on. And what a great weekend this is! It is it is for you. It's for all everyone with the tequila. Life is beautiful weekend. The energy energy in downtown Vegas is unbelievable. And uh, yeah, another great great weekend coming up. It's amazing. I mean, we're sitting here. This view is ridiculous. And I'm, I'm still thinking about how beautiful the restroom is in, in Legacy. So when you come to Las Vegas, where, wherever you're listening or watching from, uh, you got to come here and look at the circuit property that opened in 2020. Um, but I'm also glancing out there. I see the D Las Vegas right there. Uh, we've got the downtown Las Vegas Events Center and... One more property. You've got the Golden The Golden Gate, Gate. was my first one, yeah. So, I mean, even to be sitting here and looking out at kind of your empire all around you, what did you think you were going to do as an adult when you were a, a, a much younger kid? Well, when I came out here in 2006, you know, I bought the Golden Gate. Um, it was something I was able to scrounge enough money to, together to be able to buy that. And then I kind of thought that, well, let's see what happens. I mean, I always loved Vegas. I had always been coming to Vegas work, both business and pleasure and then i thought well let's see what happens and then things went well and we were able to parlay that into buying fitzgerald's which we renovated into the d and then uh, a few years later we had the opportunity to put this real estate together um on fremont street and main street uh where circus sits and this is the first uh property that uh we actually got to sketch out and design and concept out so for us this was uh this was a uh, Heck of a fun project. And so exciting for everything around it. I mean, this was the first new build, really, what, in like decades downtown. Yeah, first uh, first new building, I think, in 40 years. Or wow. first new, new large building yeah. in downtown. Yeah. Oh, and, and it's large and it it's gorgeous. Um, when you first got into this business, it, you, you're all, you also have a family business, but that has nothing to do with hospitality, right? Right, yeah. I'm still in the manufacturing business in the, uh, in the Midwest, so I still have that business. Uh, but I moved out here. My brother stayed back in Detroit. Uh, we both traveled back and forth quite a bit. Uh, but I'm uh, I'm pretty fortunate. I, I love uh, I love the Vegas uh, the Vegas element. I love the Southwest. Yeah. Um, like I was telling you, I was just in Scottsdale a couple weeks ago, and I love popping down to popping down to the Phoenix area. And uh, I, I just love the love the lifestyle out here. I love the entrepreneurialism. I love the entertainment and hospitality uh, that goes along with uh, goes along with Vegas. What is it about you that has like kind of allowed you to say, okay, I want to do more. I want more, more. I mean, I, your 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 career has been so incredible. I mean, mo I mean, I, I would think most people would be like, okay, I, I'm I'm running a hotel. I own a hotel. Like I'm good, right? And you're you're looking at the next project. Now you're launching the sports books all over the place. So what? I mean, you just you just have a desire, a hunger to keep growing. I guess. Yeah, you know, I think. I've always loved. I've always loved operating companies. I've always loved uh, developing teams, and I love kind of creating new opportunities for new people. And uh, you know, I, I always sometimes think, like, well, maybe we're not going to have as many opportunities in the next year or the next couple of years. But lo and behold, there's always something that comes up here. So yeah, we're excited about our uh, our circus sports um, uh, brand. So we have uh, circus sports that's up and running in Nevada. It's up and running in Iowa and Colorado. We launched next week in the state of Illinois. We launched later this year in the state of Kentucky. 
So we're excited about taking our circus sports brand and kind of making it a bit more national. So, I mean, the, everything has changed so much, I guess, in terms of, uh, you know, the way that people are are engaging in sports and being able to access sports betting. So, it, but it's better to be somewhere in person, right? So, I mean, from, from your couch, you know, I mean, in these cities where people are going to be able to have an experience. Yeah. Think about think about how crazy it is, Olivia. When you were living in Vegas, who would have ever really thought that we would have had an NFL team in Vegas, and we would have had uh, a hockey team. But people would have thought it was crazy. Yeah, right, it's crazy. Everything. And now, and now it's it's happened, and uh, people love traveling to to go to sporting events. Um, you know, this particular weekend, it's it's both it's both arts and music with Life Is Beautiful, but it's also eighty thousand people that are Pittsburgh Steelers fans that are in town to watch them play the Raiders. So. This is where Vegas is such a beautiful blend of, of everybody. And everybody's really coming in looking to have a good time, to have a couple of drinks, and uh, make a couple of bets. Oh, my God. I mean, of course, everybody wants to come to Las Vegas. No doubt about it. Uh, when you And I was so excited just a couple of weeks ago to come into Circa for the first time. So uh, opened in 2020. 2020, of course, uh, a year that most of us remember in a negative light. But for you, I mean, you, you went through a lot of obstacles. The, the timing was probably not the most ideal but but maybe maybe it did work out i mean yeah what happened was it's kind of a crazy story we were supposed to open at the end of the year in 2020 so like let's say new year's eve 2020 and then COVID hit and obviously where we were planning on that and this project even though a lot of times people say all oh, that happened overnight it was actually a five five year project and um when COVID hit you know there was nobody on the streets like they're like anywhere in the country so what happened was we we didn't have to worry about all of the noise ordinances. So and there was no one on the streets. So we were actually able to co work at construction 24 hours a day. We couldn't do that if normal business was happening because it's so loud and you would be waking both residents up as well as hotel guests. So we were able to actually accelerate it. We opened it two and a half months early. So that was pretty, that was actually a, a pretty good thing for us economically and for the project. And while COVID happened, I think we all know that around the country, people evaluated COVID differently. Um, when we opened, from the weekend we opened, we've been sold out every weekend since we opened because some people treated COVID a little bit different than other people did. I think, um, you know, without getting into anything political, it seemed like more Midwestern people were like, I'm living my life and more coastal people were a little more reserved. And, 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 uh, the people that were coming to Vegas, boy, they were, uh, they were armed with some cash and they were, <laughs> and they were ready to, They're ready to have a good time. And after being, after being locked down for even yes. a couple oh, yeah. of months, people came, came, came out to Vegas with some vigor. That's one way to put it, right? They, 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 there's nothing like, uh, going to the airport. And just looking, you know, the way people look when they're leaving Las Vegas, you know, just hungover, done, uh, you know, it's all, all the fun has been seeped out of the pores, right? When you come here, you got to, you got to live it up and, and we love it so much. Um, we're here because we're, we're the tequila sponsor for Life is Beautiful. And, um, you know, so we're like kind of in the midst of the hustle of, of building a business and trying to, you know, launch across the country. What do you tell people? You know, what are some of the characteristics that uh, about you or the way that you structure your organization that has made you so successful? I mean, what, what advice do you give to people who are trying to to really grow something? Well, I, I would say the one thing I, I love the fact that you're here. I mean, first, congratulations as, as the as the tequila sponsor Salud. for Life is Beautiful. Thank you so much. It's a big deal. It's a really big deal. Um, I would say the couple of things I would say would be you got to show up. Show up early, stay late. It's always one one tick, um, and and be in front of people. Bringing out a new brand uh, and in front of this many people, it's really amazing. So I mean, I think everything you're doing is terrific. You have to have great product, and this product is terrific. So uh, I think you're going down the right path. Well, we hope so. Thank you so much. I mean, from from your your perspective, uh, we really value. You're doing this these sports books all over the place. I mean. Do you still have things that are brewing in the back of your mind that you're like, maybe I will add on this, or maybe I can make this happen too? Yeah, you mean what? Yeah, you always have about four or five different things going back there. Really? Okay, that's how, the, that's how it yeah. is. Uh -huh. so, but it's like it goes back to 
I'll go back a long, long time ago. I was at uh, I was at a fight in Vegas. This goes back, my God, 35 years ago, and it was it was um, the Riddick Bow uh, Evander Holyfield fight. It was at out, outdoors at Caesar's Palace, and I was just a kid. And it was that fight that got really famous, where that guy that flew in, they called him the Fan Man, came in and disrupted the fight. And I remember that day where it said Caesar's, one of the letters was out. I think it was like the E or something like that. And I thought, man, if I ever ran that business, I'd be going crazy. Like Kevin, now I just, <laughs> now I was like, I was probably 20 years away from ever even getting into a business. Uh-huh. That was more like a thing in the back of my mind. So, so I guess to answer your question, that's the great thing about life. You know, every day that goes by, you learn something new uh-huh. and it might spur a new idea or something yeah. else to come up. And it well, and I think when you love what you do and you have an energy or you, and you enjoy people, uh, hospitality is all about people. So you are are, are known for, for being seen in your properties, right? For you know, for 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 having a hand in all that's going on. And so, what do you? What is it like when you're kind of walking around? Are you very worried about the little details and you know, seeing something on a table, or are you really still getting a kick out of interacting with the people who are enjoying your properties? Oh, I I love. Uh... As soon as we get down here, I mean, we got a big football day. I'm going to walk the casino, see a lot of people. I love shaking hands. I love meeting people. I love meeting our customers. So, uh, uh, fortunately, we, we designed something. I kind of designed a place that myself, my wife, my buddies, we all like to hang out at. Yeah. You know, um, you know, I why have a basement that has like eight TVs in it when you can have a sports book that has 21? You know, <laughs> so we just kind of designed saw a place where we want to hang out and. Uh, we always have a lot of fun doing what we're doing. Uh huh. And uh, circus swim. That, I mean, you had to be like. That's worked out pretty well. Pretty well. Not many places in America you can have a place like that. But you know, I mean, it's either Vegas or or, or Phoenix or Scottsdale where you have the sunshine. You know, yeah. you can't really replicate this in Detroit or or, or Cleveland. <laughs> so that's it's... why they gotta come visit, right? Right. right. They gotta yeah. come visit. Yeah, that's worked out well. It's been a lot of fun. I think people really love being outside and in uh, in Vegas. You get a little bit of sunshine. You get some great music. You get kind of blended with sports as a secondary element, and just have a have a good great time. There were uh, some rumors that you, or or maybe a buzz that people were encouraging you to run for office at some point over the last couple of years, right? Is that some? Do you have? Uh, would you? I mean, would that just be a drag? I mean, I feel like you've got such a great life that would just kind of drag you down. Uh, you know, I think I think that's a result of uh, maybe some COVID things, and uh, you know, I guess when you're in you're in a town where, I guess in any town, um, obviously I'm a pro business person. I'm a I'm a pro uh, em- employer. I I mean I I uh, I feel lousy if our people if our employees don't have a chance to have a, a lot of customers and things like that. It, and I think, you know, during some of the shutdowns, there's a lot of people that said, oh, I'd vote for him, that type of thing. <laughs> but I think that's more after a couple of drinks and some of those comments come out. <laughs> I like that guy. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, in, I'm in for him. Um, over the years, obviously, Las Vegas has changed so much. If there's people who have not spent time downtown necessarily, what do you, I mean, how much, it, it's kind of funny to think, I remember coming as a kid, this was the only place we came for vacation, by the way. So, I mean, I would sit off to the side of the carpet, like literally against the wall where my parents were. <laughs> like, she, so they, that, that was like the extent of my vacationing. Um, but it's, I mean, just the city has changed so much. What are what are some of the, the things for you that are like your favorite developments that have happened over the like last, you know, chunk of years that you've seen? Well, I mean, I love, I love seeing that, you know, the downtown area and Fremont Street is really kind of, uh, flourished in a way where there's a lot of investment. Uh, obviously, that's kind of helpful for us. We've planted our flag here. This is where we've invested our money. But to see all these new housing develop developments that are going up, I mean, there's 10 new, like 300 to 500 unit housing developments downtown. There's all types of new, new additional business investments coming in. So I think that's pretty cool to see to see all this all this kind of happening in downtown. Um, and you know, Fremont Street's pretty special. I mean, it's the second most visited tourist destination in America. Wow. So it's a lot of people that walk up and down this street. So it's great to see that. And then I would say on a, on a general Las Vegas um, perspective, I mean, I love actually being up here. You get to see the whole valley. Beautiful. I mean, 
what what's transpired like in the southwest part of the Vegas Valley, you know, around the big curve and Ikea, I mean, that wasn't there 10 years ago or 12 years. And it's really amazing. And then just to see Vegas grow in, in general is, is awesome. And see Vegas really becoming a sports town. You yeah. Know, it's, it's been, uh, it's been, it's been uh, pretty amazing with between UFC and, and how popular that's grown. And then obviously now with NFL and, and, uh, and the Golden Knights here is pretty cool. I mean, it's crazy. It's, cra- it's crazy how much has how much has happened. And I mean, it just now. And that was the one thing that was missing: the professional sports, right? Yeah, exactly. And, yeah, and missing no longer. Well, it has just been a delight to visit with you and to see this gorgeous thing that you built. Um, I mean, it, it, I just I, I just feel like you must just pinch yourselves, right? You walk in, you're like, wait a second. It's good. I mean, I, I think about this. I have an opportunity to hang out with you and then your whole crew. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Thank you very much. Well, thank you so uh, much. Congratulations. Oh, it is wonderful to see you. Congratulations to you on all of the things. And uh, I mean, just being like a really vital force of this community and uh, always wearing a very cool jacket, right? <laughs> I, I do want to see like, you got to do an Instagram of like your closet at some point, oh, right? God. Cause there's it's... some wild stuff in there. Oh, there sure is. There sure is. Yeah. <laughs> We'll have to come up with that. That might be another story. I like uh, that. I like that. Uh, All right. Well, it's Lindsay Gill with Talk to you, Derek David. Thank you so much. This podcast is brought to you by Tequila Corrido. To order or find Tequila Corrido near you, visit our website, ilovetequilacorrido.com. Please drink responsibly. 2021-2022.